You're already one term into this year and you've got your exams coming up very, very soon. I'm going to save you from all the cramming and stressing at the end of the year because we're going to do something about it right now. And I'm going to give you a study plan that will help you organize your revision from now. So you do a bit by bit each day so that when your exams do come about, you're going to feel a lot better about it because you started early. So we're not going to waste any time. I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do. Whether you've got your GCCs or your A-levels coming up or any sort of exams at the end of the year, the stuff I'm going to tell you today and the resources that I'm going to give you will help you a lot. So stick around until the end of this video and make sure that you like this video in case you do lose motivation i need to get back on it again trust me this video is going to help you a lot so let's get into it all right the first and most important thing that you need to get down is your topics in every single one of your subjects i would say the very first thing for you to do is to make a list of all the different topics that you have within your specification i'd suggest the specification because this is as close as you get to the actual exams so make a list of all the different topics here's an example that i'm going to show you and i will link it down below in the description too as you can see i've shown all the different topics there are next to them I have the strength that you feel within this topic so you can out of five put how strong you feel about this topic so whether or not you have done absolutely nothing on this topic yet and you don't understand it one bit so you could say one out of five or you know it so well that if you go into your exam right now and you were to do a question the hardest question on this topic you'd get right fully 100% that would be like five out of five do that that's the very first thing you want to do you want to have a good idea of where you are at with every single one of your topics whether it's the topics from this year and if you're in like year 13 year 11 make sure you look at the topics from last year as well because you are going to need them for your exams too obviously so that's the very first thing I want you to do make a list of all those topics or look at some of the lists that I've given you if they help and just mark from one to five how confident you feel with that topic that's the very first thing now as you can see there's another column here to the right as well this is just simply last reviewed when have you last gone over this topic the most important thing that I want to get into your head right now is that every single topic you can't just do it once and go to your exam you have to do it consistently over the course of the year the more you repeat a topic the easier it will be to get that information back out of your head and i'm not going to talk to you about how you actually revise each topic so let's say you're at one out of five on like indices and maths or something how can you improve that number that's your next part this is what you're actually going to be revising this is what you're going to be doing now the most important revision for you to do within each and every one of these topics is practice questions as much as you can now at this stage you might just not understand a topic at all or you just don't know the information within a topic so the first thing you do especially if your strength at it is very weak is to look over the topic and depending on the topic maybe make some flashcards on it make mind maps find a way for you to learn the information of the topic first once you've learned that information that does count as a review but make sure that once you've learned the information you also do some questions based on it as well the most important thing for you to do is those questions and for you to do it in terms of topic questions a lot of people stress about doing past papers this early on trust me you don't even need to worry about past papers until you've done every single topic and you're about a month or two away from your real exam until then just focus on doing as many topic questions as you can if you're worried about where you can get those practice questions i'm going to leave so many links down below in the description there's a lot of resources and a lot of places where you can get lots and lots of questions this is the most important thing for you to do obviously it depends on the subject in terms of how you do those questions how you uh, approach them. I do have subject specific advice as well. I'm going to leave the playlist of that in the top right over here. So check that out as well if you are confused about that. But basically, each time you do questions on a topic, this now counts as a review. So you can then say last reviewed, you can change the date to a more recent date. And what you always want to do is refresh anything that you've left behind for a long time. So if you see that you last reviewed a topic like three months ago and you haven't touched it since, that's a perfect reason for you to review that topic again. Even if you think you're decently good at it, do some more questions on it once more and just double check to see if you're fine with it. You don't need to spend too long on each and every one of these topics like this. You don't have to spend hours and hours. Just dedicate like a 20 to 30 minute block of your time and revise and put your phone down don't worry about anything else and just get through as many questions as you can trust me 20 to 30 minutes of good revision is so much better than wasting a whole six hour day of just sitting there trying to find questions watching videos and wasting your time it's your holidays okay or even if it's not your holidays it's still early in the year you don't want to be stressing so much okay don't do some crazy eight hour revision plans don't do any of those you're just trying to do a tiny bit each day so you can feel much better about yourself and you can see the progress that you're making this is the best and most effective way to actually Actually get yourself ready for your exams and it's not even that much hard work if you make it consistent and you make it into a habit now I definitely 
definitely recommend for you to check out that Notion plan. I'll leave it down below in the description, make a copy of it. But if you are stuck in how to use Notion, I've got the perfect place for you. Using classes can really help in maximizing your productivity and helping you figure out how to make a robust plan that you will stick to and you will revise with. And for me personally, the Notion Basics to Advanced class on Skillshare is one way that I found to learn the groups of Notion and be able to use it effectively to create a good study plan for you to actually stick with. So yeah, let's talk a bit about Skillshare, the sponsor of today's video. So if you're looking for a place where you can learn new skills or build up a creative habit, Skillshare is the place for you. The classes that Skillshare offer are led by creative professionals. The reason Skillshare is so unique and different is because of the fact that not only are you learning these new skills and building upon your habits, but you're also making connections with like-minded people and able to create projects and have a hands-on experience. And what my favorite thing about Skillshare is that you can learn at your own pace, whatever you want, whenever you want. There are thousands of amazing classes that you can choose from, but you're bound to find something that suits you. So if that sounds good, click the link down below in the description or scan this QR code right here. And the first 500 of you guys to do so will receive a one month free trial of Skillshare. So get started today and learn a new skill that you might have never thought you would have. Anyways, let's get back on with the video. So now you know you want to revise. You don't want to waste your time, obviously. The second stage of this whole revision, locking in whatever thing, okay, whatever you want to call this, is the idea of beating procrastination. When you sit down and you revise, how can you stop yourself from picking up your phone and just scrolling on reels? Now, obviously your teachers have probably told you, give your phone to your parents so you can sit down and revise, but realistically, who is doing that? No one's going to be doing that, okay? I'm going to tell you what I used to do to help me sit down and actually get some revision in. Now, the best advice I have for you is to try and make the morning of your day as productive as possible. So you want to try and get that revision done early. Even if you are a late night revision type of person, whatever, you want to try and revise early in the day. You to wake up a tiny bit earlier than you normally do and spend that time revising so for example like 30 minutes before breakfast just sit and do a topic do some questions on it now you might think oh that's useless you're only doing about 20 minutes of revision 30 minutes of revision but it's the mindset that you put yourself for the rest of the day if you start your day off with something productive or even any other sort of productive activity when you wake up okay it doesn't have to be revision straight away you could go to a gym in the morning you could read a book in the morning so your day doesn't feel like it's rushed basically you want to try and be intentional with your time and trust me once the start of your day is good the rest of your day just happens to fall into place and there's no way you can be productive if you don't have a plan so if you don't plan out when you're going to revise in the day you're not going to get that revision in and if you hear that ambulance in the background now i don't recommend for you to make some crazy study schedule that is done three weeks in advance okay for you to like map out exactly from which hour to which hour you're going to be revising every single day for the rest of the holidays or for the rest of the month whatever don't do that because as soon as you stop doing one day everything is going to just fall behind you're going to lag behind and everything is just going to go back to shambles so at most if you're going to plan out the hours of your day and when you're going to revise do it on a day by day basis okay so when you wake up that's when you should plan out when you're going to do certain things of the day rather than getting it all planned out weeks in advance and this is the best way for you to try and deal with that procrastination and if you don't feel like revising start with a topic that's a bit more bearable for you start with a subject that you find a bit easier to do so it gets you into that flow state and if you do little by little each day over the course of the week you're going to have done so much revision and over the course of the month you're going to have done so much more than you would have if you hadn't watched this video now the last thing for you to do is to click on those links down below in the description for you to figure out exactly what you're going to be doing and when don't tell yourself oh i'll start this tomorrow start it now Let's try and start doing some revision from now just do something even if it's very little do a tiny bit each day and just slowly build it up as you get towards the end of the year you're going to thank yourself for everything that you've done now you're in a good position right now where you can completely change your outcome of the year so this is the time for you to do that and I've given you exactly what you need to try and make that happen so you have two parts now either you waste your time and you continue going down this spiral of just getting worse and worse until you end up realizing how much of a problem this is and you cram and who knows how that will end or you can start from now you can do a tiny bit each day you can feel like there's purpose in your revision and you have some sort of stability and structure within your days and you're gonna feel a lot better that way just trust me and apart from that I just want to say good luck subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys very very soon make sure you check out those links and yeah bye for now